Do you ever take photographs of you and your brother? Yes. And what would the circumstances be in which he would take photographs? He would take photographs of us, um, of um, our private parts. And would he have you come in and pose for these photographs? Or how would that happen? Um, I would just, if we were in the shower or bathtub or changing, he would just he would just use the same camera that my mother used, and then he would come in, and take just a photograph or two, and uh, he wouldn't say anything, he would, and then he would leave. Do you ever show you those photos? No. Excuse me. You know, I have some photographs, and I have shown you this little thing, and it came out to me, and I gave permission. How many are there, and just for the record, what are the markings that you've put on them? We have, may I do it? Yeah. Okay, please refer to uh, all right. Mr. Menendez, I'm showing you a Kodak color prints envelope with the number 219 on it. Would you take a look at that? Do you recognize the handwriting on the front? That's my mother's. And what does it say? Eric's birthday, November 1976. And in November 1976, how old would you have been? Eight. That's the Muncie House, 4 Harlow Lane, Muncie, New York. Is there anything in that envelope at this it's time? It's empty at okay. this time, Your Honor. All right. The next would be... Did you want to mark that envelope? It's marked 219, Your Honor. All right. The next would be 220, which is a envelope containing negatives. Next is a series of small photographs. A through H. All right. And then we have enlargements of those photographs, which we have marked 222 through 233. And we have a proof sheet of the negatives, which we've marked as 220, which is marked as 234. Mr. Menendez, have you been shown this proof sheet already? Yes. I now have the enlargements which go in order off of the proof sheet off the negative. Mr. Menendez, do you recognize this photograph? Yes. And who are the people in that photograph? Uh, Mom and Dad, myself, uh, the Baralt family, children, and, and Aunt Terry and Uncle Carlos. Could you just identify that for the record so that we don't have 222, Your Honor. All right. Showing you what we've marked as 223. Do you recognize that photograph? Yes. And who is that? That's uh, me. Twenty-four. That's Eric. Two twenty-five. What was the answer? I don't know. <laughs> it's nothing, Your Honor. I, nobody can recognize. It's just the next photo on the negative. Twenty-six. That's Eric and myself and some other boys. And speak up. Some some other boys and Eric and myself. Sorry. And 
Do you recognize some mark on your brother? The birthmark? The birthmark on his right wrist. It's a large, large brown birthmark. Two twenty seven. That's my father and Eric at a birthday party. Two twenty eight. That looks like the same party with Eric and myself. 229. The same picture, I think, but darker. 230. And the same picture, basically. 231. Um, looks like my mother in the background, lower half of her, and uh, my brother with a donut. 232. That's Eric. How do you recognize him? The birthmark on his right hand. And 233? That's the little dog I was talking about, Tristesse. You know, may I take a moment and put the photos up? Yes. <laughs> Now, when you said that your dad would come in periodically and just take pictures of you, the two photographs here we've marked, one which you've identified as yourself and the other one as Eric, which are children without clothes, also appear to be children with their kids. Is that correct? Yes. And when he would take photographs of you of this nature, would he seem to be directed at taking photos of your faces? No. What would he, he would take photographs of your genital area, the lower half of your body, or uh, you bending over, or just different parts of your positions. Is what I never really knew. Because you never saw them afterward, or is that yes? He would be focused on those areas, but I didn't see the. the I've never seen these pictures. Is today the first time you've seen these pictures? Is that yes? Yes. Did your dad used to have talks with you about sex between men? Yes. 